Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. So there is big rain clouds over my head here, but I've had so many pots waiting for me to plant them up. So I'm excited about the combinations that I'm putting together this year. And I wanna be able to share them with you. So I'm gonna try and get out and get this little grouping right here of three pots planted up real quick before I get rained on. So let me show you the plants I'm gonna be using. I'm going to pack a lot of plants into these little pots here. These pots are about 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, so about a foot in either direction. Um, and I'm going to put a lot of big plants. Uh, they probably won't get as big as they um, are supposed to out if they're planted in the ground because they'll be in the pots, but they should still be big plants. So um, kind of for my big impact, I have a firecracker uh, sunflower and this gets to be two to three feet tall um, when you're planted out in the ground. I believe this is an orangey red um, sunflower. I haven't grown it before. And then most of my pots here will have a sunny days, but as you can see, this one seems to be empty. So um, it just, oh, that's a firecracker. Here's a sunny days and it looks like this one has two in it. So um, I should be able to divide this one up to add to the other pot because I certainly don't want more than one of each of those varieties in these pots. I'm already pushing it with the plants I'm putting in here. Um, so I'll have those two, those will be like, both of those will be about two to three feet um, tall. Uh, now, again, being in the pot, they probably get maybe two feet. Uh, then I have, um, this marigold these are what I usually have in my garden there they generally get about um, 18 inches by 18 inches um, so that's about 45 centimeters by 45 centimeters they might get that big in here uh, but probably not though this one's already getting close to that and then I have a queenie lime orange zinnia now I've never grown just like a single zinnia in a, a planting scheme before so it'll be interesting to see, but I really want these for cutting anyways. So if it looks a little bit odd, that'll be fine, but it will add that little bit of different leaf texture in there. So the really big, bold leaves of the um, sunflowers and then the kind of ferny foliage of the, the marigold. And then this will be just kind of a, an oblong, hairy leaf on the, the zinnia. Uh, these, I believe, well, queenie lime orange. So they're kind of a an orange shade of, um, kind of like a pom-pom style zinnia. Then to kind of fill out the bottom of these planters and just give me, you know, that, that fullness lower down, I have some white verbena. Now this is a quartz XP white. And what do these get again? So these have the potential to get, you know, about 15 to 25 centimeters tall and about that wide as well. So I'll probably put one of these in each of these containers. And I like to have that little pop of white, just bring some brightness and give some more interest at night. Uh, and then each of these pots has something a little bit different, just kind of for a bit of a filler spiller. Uh, this one is this beautiful kind of orangey um, Calibrecoa. I don't know what they call this. I just saw this or Super Bells. Uh, Dreamsicle is the name of it. I found this at the garden center, but they only had one and I really wanted it. I've never seen uh, a Super Bells or Calibrecoa Million Bells. I've never seen that uh, in this color before. So yeah, standard like, like any other. So about six to 12 inches, which is about 15 to 30 centimeters. And um, you know, you space it about eight inches or 20 centimeters. And dog just bumped the camera there. So just look at these flowers though. It's gorgeous. Just love that color. So one pot will have this. Um, one pot will have this beautiful um, petunia and I found these at a garden center and they didn't have a tag in them. I asked and the staff there didn't know what the variety was, but I really love the color of these. It's still in that kind of yellows and oranges kind of look. And then one more. 
I'll see if I can find one that's already blooming. Um, I had two different kinds of petunias and these are kind of my leftovers from other planters. I'll grab, I'll look, I think I have another one sitting waiting to be planted. So right here you can see the color in this petunia. And again, the garden center had it. They didn't have tags for these. You can see it starts out in this kind of, I don't know, dusky red, almost orange hue toward the center. And then they turn, this is an old one just hanging here, almost purplish. As they age, I'm trying to open this one up so you can see in there. Look at that. It's really unique. Dead had those. Just a couple of really unique um, petunias and uh, sleeper bells that I've never seen before here. So I just wanted to try them. So I'm going to do one of each, or a different one in each pot. I'm going to get these pots filled up with soil real quick here. I'm just using a, my favorite potting soil for containers. And uh, we'll get going. I just started these uh, sunflowers in old toilet rolls here. I'm just going to peel it off. This doesn't break down here um, in a season so I peel it off as long as they're nice and wet because then most of the roots stay nicely. And then I'm just going to gently just take the two of them and ever so gently pull them back. And then you can see the roots stay attached. This one's still attached. I'm just going to set it down. So with a grouping of three like this, I'm putting um, a combination of all the plants other than the different uh, petunias and uh, super bells in all these pots. So what you could also do is do your, your taller plants towards in the back pot and then work your way down um, with, with your shorter plants towards the front. And that will work really well in a com combination of pots as well. So there's the firecracker. Now the zinnia is supposed to get almost as tall as the, um, the sunflower. So I'm going to put the marigold, even though it looks gigantic, it looks like it should be the big impact plant right now. Through these from seed, look at those nice roots on there. Um, it's going to go towards the, the inside on these uh, kind of front pots. And uh, we'll see what I, I'm not sure how I'll do it with the other one. Um, but then the zinnia I'll put more towards the outside. So I have the height coming up out this way. Grew this from seed as well. Nice roots on it, but they're ready to get planted. Okay, and then I'm going to put the verbena kind of between these two small tray of them here. And I think just one will be lots in here to give us what we need and it should come out and fill in around here quite a bit. And then here's that calabricoa. So the verbena, the calabricoa, and the petunias in these pots um, were all purchased. Everything else was grown from seed. So there, I think that'll look really nice as it fills out. The sun's poking out from the clouds, but I think there's enough big clouds coming around here that we're still going to get some rain. So another double of the sunny days. So I'm going to use it between these two pots and then I'll have a few more I can plant out in the ground probably somewhere. So I put one over here, one back here. I'm going to plant this one just a little deeper. It doesn't seem to bother the sunflowers in my experience. So help it stand up. It's gotten a little wonky. And then I also have a double of firecrackers. I'm going to do the same thing. So if you live in like a, a hot, wet climate, 
Maybe you can leave these rolls on and maybe they'll just break down for you if you plant like this. But here I'm in Saskatchewan, Canada and I just find they just don't break down over the season so they just constrict the roots if I leave them on. See it's been in here way too long and if you see how very full those roots are. So I'm just giving them a little yank. It won't hurt the plant and actually it'll help it because it'll encourage those roots to branch out a bit. They were really matted up at the bottom there. Over here. So these are all full sun plants. This corner of my patio gets a lot of sun. It gets morning sun, afternoon sun. They should have no trouble getting enough sun. My only concern will be if the marigolds are shading out the uh, sunflowers before they really get established. Um, I'm gonna, in the back pot, I'm actually gonna put the, the zinnia. Actually, you know what? I might skip the zinnia in the back pot because I don't, I think it'll look funny being kind of off with the, the back pot in the center. So I'll maybe just put the marigold kind of here and maybe put two verbenas on either side of the marigold in this back pot instead. So there again, you can just see just how formed those roots are to the pot on these marigolds. I've just, I can't remember when I planted them, but when I sowed the seeds, but they've been in here a long time. Okay, so where's that zinnia? We'll put it over here. Do you ever do that? You have a plan for a planting combination and then you get into it and you're like, oh, maybe I'll do it just a little bit different. Once you get mucking with the plants, sometimes that happens. Okay, so I'm going to use this last verbena here out of this pack. And I'll put two in this pot. Not that I need more plants in this pot, but it'll just help keep it balanced. So you can see those nice white flowers. I may come along and pinch it. If this one doesn't start to bush out, because it's really growing upright, if it doesn't start to bush out, I'll come and pinch it down about here. Just pop that top section off, and that should encourage it to bush out on the sides a little bit more. So again, we'll go back to the verbena in the center. And it looks kind of weird right now because it's kind of lining things up down the center. But these plants, like especially these petunias, will really fill out across the side of the pot. So even though I'm kind of kind of lining them up a bit, it'll be all right. They'll fill in and look normal. I love the color of these petunias. Like, kind of got dirt on that one, but like the pairing of these is gorgeous. And I think with that kind of orangey tangerine kind of colored super bells or calabricoa it'll be just amazing together a little dirty okay well i'm happy i got that done before the the rain starts here and i wound up with a few plants that i didn't pop in these pots i mean i knew these are really full full pots here so I think they'll look good though together and I think that's going to be a real bright hot pop of color right here in this corner. Um, and I have a, a Wigilia uh, behind here um, that's just about to, to burst into some red blooms. So you know it'll just give that backdrop of those red buds and then these kind of yellowy orange little bit of red tones in here kind of colors. Just something nice and bright and fun. And then here's all the plants that I, I didn't wind up planting so I'll have to find homes for these. Um, but I'm sure it won't take me too long to do that. I just want to show you real quick the similar pot that I put on the opposite corner of the patio. So this one's over here. And that grouping of three that I just did over there. And then come down the patio. And there's this one right here. There's one of the hostas that I planted last year. 
and uh, this is a very similar planting but it's a little bit larger pot um, so I have the white verbena in the front I have uh, the the queenie lime orange I have two of those zinnias I have the one um, orange uh, marigold and this is from the same seed this is just seed that I collect in my yard and so you can see these ones are a little bit more orange than the ones that I just planted and then I have three sunny days um, sunflowers in the back and oh I have four I thought I had a firecracker in the middle but lots of sunny days as well so sunflowers that should get you know like up around here from the pot and then we have the marigold which will probably come about here those zinnias, zinnias might come a little higher than the marigold but shorter than the sunflowers and then this will just fill in below with that verbena and it'll have those same white flowers as the other ones that I planted so that should look really nice in there and then I found a spot for the uh, sunflowers and the zinnia that I had left over there was four four sunflowers left over and I just put them kind of in front of this rain barrel on this side so there's one back there one there one there and one there uh, and just for reference so I'm on this side of the rain barrels now and we were just planting over on that side so this will cover up the view coming kind of from the garden kind of break up the view of this the rain barrels a bit I do have a big rubecchia here that will grow in quite a bit and a daylily one there one there um, so it it does get somewhat um, covered up and there's also a hanging basket right there but I think those little bit of sunflowers in there um, will look really really good there and then the zinnia I just popped in with some others in my new planting bed so if we turn and go down to where I just started the new flower bed I already had kind of a grouping of zinnias around Adelia there and I think these are Queenie Lime Orange and then I think I had I think these are California double giants over there and so I just stuck the one left over Queenie Lime Orange right there so hopefully it blends in with the rest there's some yellow asters right here some purple petunias so uh, that should be a pretty colorful little space there in my new flower bed almost done since it's not raining yet I'm going to go down and I just needed a few more bits of newspaper to, to finish up this last tiny little corner here and I'll plant those plants so and then that's pretty much done I'll give you guys a tour of this uh, coming up soon so I need to clean up a bit I have some dirt spilt all over here and get these watered in and uh, hopefully I get that done before it rains here hopefully we get the rain we could use it uh, we've been forecast for rain a few days in a row here and it's blown past us but today looks like it's going to come thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye